and welcome back to my channel so during this video we are going to be using the Huda Beauty's Textured Shadows Rose Gold Edition this is the first palette and I think she has a remastered palette I think I have both I believe I do but we're going to take out the original baby and go with it today I'm not sure what I'm going to come up with um, the norm I just get on here and just let it do what it do <laughs> so we're just going to um just see what we can come up with. So I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit. So we can see what we're going to do. Now I did prime my eyes already with the um, P. Louise Base in shade number 2. Rumor. Um, and I made sure I blended it in with my finger this morning. So I think that should. I don't know if I should put a little bit more. Yeah, let's do it just a little bit more. Because I feel like my... Uh, the coverage is really not there when I blend it with my finger. And I know I'm going to have this already done, so just bear with you, girl. So now I'm going to take this buffing brush by BH Cosmetics. I'm just going to pack it on the lid up to the brow bone. Yeah, that's that additional coverage. Because I think when I blend it with my finger, I kind of shoot it out too, too much. Up to the brow bone, and you can use any type of base and concealer. I just took this out for my shop mustache, so um, I could get some more use out of it and rotating my items. Okay, so there it is. Should have been ready, but it's okay. So let's see what we're gonna come up with. I want to start out with the shade. Let's do um, sandalwood, and it's the very last matte shade um, on the last row. It's like a, I'm not going to say peachy, brown matte, because I am a little bit colorblind. So I'm going to take my um, Morphe 505 brush, and we're going to take that shadow and just start blending it, placing it rather, because... I don't know why I keep doing it. I be trying to do that knowing I didn't set this base. So I'm just placing it right above my outer V and right into that crease area. And this palette still performs pretty good. Ooh, nice color. And I'm just packing it again. And now I'm placing it like a circle around my uh, outer V area. This is a nice shadow. And do the same thing for this eye. stamping it in my um, outer V like a circle like a C rather I guess if that makes sense it looks more like a C and then a backward C on the other eye yeah and now we're placing it right in that crease area above that outer V and right in that outer V area so let's pack a little bit more. Now I'm just going to go down to the crease area. Not the crease, I'm sorry, the inner corner. make sure I'm in frame and I tried to adjust my lighting this morning because I realized when I be recording sometimes um, the lighting is like too too bright in some cases so I'm trying to make sure you can actually see my face 
And now we're just blending the shadow all into the crease area. I'm blending it really, really good and diffusing those edges a little bit above the crease. And I'm doing this in circular motions. And do the same thing again for the other eye. You want to just go in circular motion, blending out this shadow like really, really good. And these edges up towards the brow bone area. This is performing like really, really good. And when I first got this palette, her shadows was like a unique type of formula when the palette first came out. So it was kind of like hard for me to use the shadow. That's why I put them up. I always loved her packaging and her color schemes. And I've always liked the way other people's eyeshadows and stuff came out when they got through using the, the, the palettes. But I was just, you know, still trying to figure it out on how to do eyeshadows. But now I kind of like just take a stab at a lot of stuff now. So, and then thinking of that, talking about shadows that I did not know how to work with, I'm going to pull out my um, Anastasia Subculture and see if I can do something with that palette. Because that was another one that was like one of those palettes that had a, a lot of, you know, controversy, controversy around it about how it performed and the formula of it and you know it was like that palette like got the business when it first came out about the formula but I do want to see how it performs and I may pull it out in my next stash and probably before then um, because I do want to see how that performs so make sure this area up here is blended So I want to deepen this up a little bit more, just a little bit more. So I want to go in with the shade next to it, which is this matte, burnt, <laughs> brick type looking shade. It's a, like a darker, deeper shade of the one I just used. I'm going to use the same brush. And we are going to just pack it on there. And then place it right in that crease area in this outer V going right up into the crease just to deepen it a little bit and I'm blending in circular motions and this shadow is like no really hardly no fallout which is not a problem for me anyways but gosh this thing is performing really good and I gifted my niece the retrograde eyeshadow palette but man Working with this, I want to go back and repurchase it. Because that retrograde, I think it's Mercury, Mercury retrograde. Um, those are some pretty colors. And I see she has another eyeshadow palette. Um, I, don't, I, I don't know if it came out or is it about to be released. But she has another beautiful um, eyeshadow palette I saw a couple of days. Uh, floating around on her um, YouTube channel. This is so pretty. I'm loving it. Just to deepen it up a little more right in that um, out of the area and over into that crease area. Oh, yes. I like it. I'm living for this shadow. It's like so good. And they're like so smooth. And I guess I'm just like over the moon because like I said, um, I've never even really just tried these shadows, knew how to work with them rather, even though I, when I used them back then, I, I wasn't applying them like this. <laughs> This is like really good. And considering you know how old it is in my collection, that's another thing too. So now I'm just blending it again. So now I'm gonna go back in with the um, first shade 
I'm going to take my little towel, just clean off this same brush. I'm not going to switch brushes. Go back in with the, um, you know what? Yeah, let's go back in with the first shade so we can make sure that crease area still has this shade right uh, in and above. We're going to go right on the top of this shade where we originally placed it um, when we first started placing these eyeshadows. So now I'm just going in circular motions. And then we're going to take a little bit for the other eye and place it right above the crease area. And circular motions. Now we're just going to make sure everything else is blended on the lid. This is like really good. So now I'm going to go in with the MAC um, 224 brush. And we're, you know what? No, I'm going to take this same brush, clean it off again. Because I think it's too, too fluffy. For what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and place the matte shade called Bay, which is this bone type matte shade. And we're going to place this shade right up, um, on our brow bone area, packing it before we blend it. Um, we're just setting the concealer and the eyeshadow base that's placed underneath the eyebrow. I'm just going to make sure it's packed really good so we can blend it out. And I'll probably apply my eyeshadows in a weird, funky way than others, <laughs> but there's no special way to apply eyeshadows. Apply them the way you feel you need to apply them. I'm going to clean it again, and we're just going to blend out the bone shade into the um, brown shades. Yeah, like I was saying, um, if you, if whatever technique works for you, um, just do it. Because that's what I do. I don't go on a special order. I don't place them in a special way. I just place them. <laughs> so I'm going to take a little bit more of this shade bay. Because I want to brighten it up just a little bit more. Now I'm not going right up to my brow bone this time. I'm just setting it right in this area above the brown shade. Just to highlight it just a little bit. Now we're going to clean up one more time and make sure everything is blended. So now I'm going to take the MAC 224 brush and we're just going to lightly blend the crease area. Beautiful. Um, so let's see. I think we've done a good bit of placing that. I like the way that's performing. So now, shimmer time, baby. So we're going to take our glitter glue. And then take our two dollops on our eco style brush. And we know what to do with that. I've been loving this, like I said, especially going to work in the mornings because, honey, this has been like shortening my time with placing this stuff on my, um, what it is. I'm going to go all the way across my outer V. Placing this um, <laughs> shimmers <laughs> on my lid, the, uh, the glue for the shimmers to be placed on my lid. Y'all have to excuse me. When it's 5.30 in the morning, bear with me. Um, but, again, it makes placing it so easy for me. And it's not as messy. My things are not sticky and tacky. And it places it, like, really quickly for me. So, I've been loving this way the last couple of um, days I've been doing my makeup and my applying these shimmer shades 
this has been like giving me life this way so now I'm gonna go in with what shade I'm gonna put on here Let's do, y'all want to do rose gold or y'all want to do angelic? Whatever is going to make my mind up. Let me see. How about, that's a pretty color. That's a pretty bronzy color. Well, you don't have all day, girl. Let's do, you know what? I wanted to try this pretty color pop. Let's do that. Let's try this color pop jelly munch. I know I'm all over the place. In the shade Cigaro. I swatched this over the weekend and I was like, I gotta try it. And I think it'll be so pretty. It's really, really pretty. Never used this thing before. I probably shouldn't do this, but we're gonna wing it. So I'm just gonna take a little bit with my little spoolie my little metal and let's just take the tiniest amount because I don't want to dry that out we're going to take the tiniest and it kind of matches this bronze shade called trust fund but we're going to take the tiniest I mean the tiniest amount um now I'm going to see what I'm going to screw this up at knowing I got to work but I want to try it anyways I'm going to take this flat shader brush, and this is by Morphe, the M124 brush, and we're just going to kind of flatten this out a bit on the back of my hand, and let's see if we can place, place it on our lid. thinking when I sat here and put, <laughs> put this out. Oh, let's see if we can apply a little bit more on here. Ooh. I guess you got to work this baby because it is coming together now. A little bit. <laughs> Not going to brag too soon. And I'm going to take it all the way over to the outer V because we're going to fix it any minute. It's like a sticky, like, base. I probably shouldn't have stuck it on top of this glitter glue. Maybe that's what it is. I just want to see how it performs anyway. So, <laughs> it's not going to hurt anything. So, now, I still think that looks okay. But we're going to go back in with this golden shade. Because I just really like to put that up. But we're going to go with the... the um, gold shade next to the last shade on the top row right on top of this shade and give it a little more off to it I guess if we can say that because I think it's still like on the goldish side and it just kind of gave it a little more dimension in my opinion so we're going to take a little bit more And that's what it looks like. And place it right on top of this shade. It's kind of a semi like a bronzy gold type shade. So it wasn't too far off from the color pop shade. Okay, all in our RV. And you want to just make sure you press it like really good. Because the warmth of your finger kinds of um, kind of smooths it out a little bit more. And the same thing for the other eye. So I think that's okay. So now we are going to go back in with this Morphe 505 brush. And I don't have any more shadows on here. I just want to make sure we blend out this crease area. Maybe I got the wrong brush. <laughs> 
I need my little fiber brush. But we're going to keep working with this one to save time because I don't have time to stop and be looking for brushes. I still think it looks pretty good though. I think we need to probably apply one more layer because it's so thick. Let's try it with the brush and see what it does because it's still kind of like on the tacky side. So we're going to just see what this brush does. Oh, that's not bad. I guess I'm going all the way to the outer V. We're just going to take a little bit more. Yeah, I feel like this cover a little better than with just my finger. Okay, cool. I like that. So now I have to find this little brush. I'm sorry because it's going to irk me until I fix it. So this little bitty Sigma one is similar to the longer brush. And it's the E47, which is going to blend out this crease area with this brush. And just make sure these edges are not harsh. And the same thing for this eye. It's pretty. I don't think I'm gonna do anything else. I want to kind of keep it like this. So now we're gonna take our makeup wipe, get our little simple on it. <gasps> Sorry for that reaction. I'm just shaking it without a lid on it, and it is going everywhere. We're gonna take a little bit of this. Let me put the top back on so I won't do that again. And our uh, wipe is wet. Now I'm going to just clean up around our and the eye area. Okay, so let's zoom in a little bit. You know the drill. I have to zoom in to make sure these babies are together. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the two shades that we put in the crease and the outer V, just kind of mix them a little bit. And we're gonna add a little bit more back into the outer V area, up into the crease, kind of deepen it just a little bit, just so we can um, add a little more depth back into this eyeshadow. Look. So now I'm going to take the Morphe, Morphe MAC 224 brush and just blend out the edges. I like how light that is. Okay, so um, let's do one more thing before we jump off. Because I feel like let's take this pencil brush by ColourPop and let's add some of the shade... Um, let's add a little bit of, it's not going to hurt anything, a little bit of Angelic, which is the lighter rose gold shade. We're going to add this a little bit in our crease, because I want to lighten it up just a little bit, going from this inner corner up to my crease and lightly blending. And um, dragging, oh, I'm out of frame and dragging over on the lid. Okay, yeah, that gives a little more dimension and shape to it. And the same thing for this eye. 
you want to drag it up towards the crease and over to the inner corner and in circular motions to blend it in the crease area. And I'm just blending in circular motions, making sure this shadow is like blended really, really good. And I'm just blending back and forth in circular motion. So now I'm going to take the Morphe brush again just to make sure everything is blended seamless with the shades. Okay, so now we're going to take the MAC brush again. Now let's take our bone shade one more time so we can lighten this baby back up in this area. And I'm just going back and forth to make sure these shadows are blended seamless. Okay, so I think that should do it, like definitely. So we're gonna clean up again so I love that that's beautiful. So we're going to go off camera, finish the rest of our face, and I will be back to show you guys my final look. So welcome back. This is the final look that I came up with. I'm going to tell you, the eyeshadow look, I loved it. But when I got through with this base and, a, and sprayed this setting spray, no, no. It put, made my face too gold or something. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't really feel like I like this. Well, I ain't going to say that. Let me rephrase. I used too much. So, I'm just going to go back in and get this line. Maybe it's looking a little better as it sits, but I don't like it. Mm -mm. It's too gold in person. The, the shimmer is like really, really gold for my skin tone. So, I'm hoping... Um, it kind of, it's not like that. And, you know, when I get to work, it kind of settles a little bit, but I don't know how I feel. I really don't like this bronzy, bronzy face. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did enjoy the eyeshadow palette, though. Again, I used the Huda Beauty. This is a nice eyeshadow palette. So, I will be using this again, and I pulled out the other ones to use as well. So, I'm excited about using the other ones. So, uh, other than that, everything else worked pretty good. I um, used the primer, which is nice. Really nice. I will be picking up another one of these. And it's the Catrice One Minute Face Perfector. This is really good on your skin. When I put it under my eyes, it was like really soothing, like creamy, soft. Everything else, like I said, I was so pleased with it. My lashes today, I went with the Eyelore Talia, Thalia lashes. These are really nice lashes. They were kind of like on a thick side, but they were they were not that easy to apply because of the band. But I think they're extra cute for every day if you are not into the long, wispy, dramatic lashes. This is perfect. I actually got these from TJ Maxx, I believe, for like $4. Um, to finish the rest of my face, my foundation was looking really, really good. Like, really, really good until I screwed it up with this spray. Um, I used both of my ColourPop Pretty Fresh foundations and mixed these shades. And it was like the perfect, perfect shade. And I think I'm going to do a video with the products in my shop, my stash. Um, so you guys can see what I am talking about. And one is in the shade Medium. 8.5 Neutral, I think that's what that says. And the other one is Medium 105 Neutral. I need my bifocals on. But that's what these two shades are. Um, I did not contour today. I just bronzed. And I bronzed with uh, the two Black Radiance pressed powders that I took out um, for the Shop Mustache, which are the shades Golden Cashews and Creamy Beige. Nice colors. This some good formula as well, too. Black Radiance has some nice, nice 
um, products. Uh, then I use my Ofra blush and sweet stuff. This nice rosy, mauvey, light rosy, nudie. Um, and then for my highlighter today, I use the Hilda Beauty. And I use the shade Tahiti, which is the gold shade on the bottom row. Um, that's pretty much it. And for my lips, I lined with the um, St. Lux. And it's a dark brown line, lip liner in the shade Secret Admirer. And I topped it with this Tarte H2O gloss. It's a really pretty gloss. And I like the formula of it. Um, what shade is this? Me and these eyes get away. <laughs> but overall, I do like how everything performed. Like I said, I think I went too heavy with this spray. Probably should have made one spray and I just went like a fool. So I'm hoping um, it holds up. If it does not, I'm going to take my makeup wipes with me to work. And it'll probably be gone before I get to work if it does not perform like I want it to. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you um, enjoy my techniques. If there are some techniques that I need to try that you all are doing that I have not tried, let me know because I'm interested in trying new things. But until then, uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.